So I just opened the door to go out and get her. And she pushed me over. Like it's not time to, it's not like even time to milk yet. I haven't gone out and fed everybody else. But she was coming in. It's not how this works, kiddo. They're crazy today. Here they are, just these two. Who are usually my better behaved girls. Probably some pushing and shoving going on this morning. Good morning, Bubs. How are y'all? Good morning, Daisy Goat. How are you, big girl? Good morning, ladies. Good morning. You guys ready for breakfast? Be ready for breakfast, Mom. Good morning, babies. Good. Hello. Good morning. Hello, Bernie. Hmm? Hello. Hey, buddies. All right. Let's go milk the mommy. Okay, let's try again. Guys, we finally got some rain yesterday. It rained really heavy for about 30 or 45 minutes. Hoping all the grass is gonna perk up the next couple of days. We also have a chance for rain like the next two or three days and two or three days next week. Good morning, babies. Fight over the five bites of grain. Goats are so silly. I had my hair cut yesterday. Chopped it all off. I never wear it down, so you guys don't know, but you've seen, I guess, my pigtail braids. Just, you know, it was long and now it's like up off my shoulders. Obviously, haven't been able to get a haircut because of the hole that had water in it. And it went in my boot. That was gross. Coronavirus. But. Finally got to wear. I just couldn't, couldn't handle it anymore. It was hot, it was gross, and I need a haircut. Uh, it doesn't really fit in a ponytail at the moment. So I cut it a little short, so we'll see. Good morning, buddies. Good morning. Where's our little girl?
last night our little heifer calf came up and ate dinner with Chief and it was really funny. It rained, it had poured down rain and I just kind of came out right as it stopped. Boy goes for all, you know, in the house for the night. She came up and ate some grain and Chief just gave it to her. He's so funny. He just stood there and watched her. Like, okay, well, I guess you're gonna eat the grain. And he didn't eat any. So funny. Here she is. Probably should have brought them in here to eat and she would have eaten something. But as you can see, these guys are still here. They've all lost their voice for the most part. Uh, we didn't realize they weren't having a sale this week because of the holiday. Even though the sale's on Thursday, because it's a holiday weekend, they're not having a sale. So they're here until next week. Come here, babies. Come here, sweet girls. Let's have breakfast. We're having the breakfast right here. Probably gonna have to stick another hay bale in here for them. They still got plenty to eat, but they're really fine. And I don't know if you guys have watched the video, I'll link it up in the corner, where um, we pulled this little guy. I don't know if he'll come up to the fence. When he was a baby, his mama had trouble having him. He kinda had his elbows all splayed out. But that's him, he's all grown up. I'll link that video and you guys can watch it where we had to pull him. And we had his mom and him up here for a couple of days. He's doing awesome, he's big, because he's just as big as everybody else. Um, but these guys are friendly. These are probably the friendliest group of calves that we've had. Good morning, piggy piggies. You guys ready for breakfast? Better watch the fence. It's gonna pop you. So obviously we've moved them back over here. Um, this little area that they're in had grown up a little bit and it's just a little bit easier than, we could have bought a charger for that net fence and it could have stayed over here, but we just kind of decided we would try that. And since it worked so well for them, we can pull them out in the yard more with that net fence if we needed to, rather than trying to deal with goats and, a, a new charger. Those chargers aren't very expensive, but we don't really even know if that net fence works. Worst case scenario, we can electrify it. And they're happier, I think, to be back in their spot. Good morning. Is it time for breakfast? Waffles. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. So their kennel got a little bit wet in the rainstorm last night, but thankfully that back corner always stays dry. Guys, look at them. Okay, so need some name ideas. But I've named the orange and white meatball and this little funky orange and gray tabby, Tiger. But the orange one and this little black one and the little, um, the one that somebody says looks like she has a toupee. Need names. They are three weeks old, guys. They're they're finally getting fun. Aren't they mama cat? She's like, I'm ready to get out of here, people. So leave me a comment about what you think we should name those three. And I didn't really have a theme. That little orange and white is such a chunk and meatball is like the perfect name for him. Please, mommy, extra food. Sorry, babe, we're out of range cubes. I don't have any treats for you. I don't, see you later. We got in one more of our t-shirts. I have one more coming, the bean, the one with bean on it. This is pork chop. I love the navy. 
I think it looks really good with the pig. So check out our link in the description to our Teespring store. I've been using my milk the last couple of days, so the piggies are gonna be super excited to have some milk this morning because they haven't had any in a couple of days. Tammy Pig, what do you think? Come here, Tammy. Come here, Tammy. I've been concerned and have asked me about these little dangly things on Toonie's face. Which she's not gonna show you because she's being crazy. Isn't she Porkchop? Obviously Porkchop doesn't have them. But she does. So come here. Hi pig. You're kind of gross. You're kind of covered in milk. So you can see these little fleshy bits that she has right here on her face. And you guys have been concerned that they're like an abscess or some kind of tumor or growth. And there's no reason to be concerned. Is there Toonie Pig? These are called waddles. And goats have them as well as pigs. And historically, we know that lots of species of pigs had waddles early on because they're in paintings before there were pictures of piggles. Why are you being so silly? And for Cooney Coonies, they're breed standard. So if you're gonna buy a Cooney Cooney pig, especially breeding pigs, you really want waddles. I didn't know that when I bought Porkchop and his brother. And waddles are a dominant trait. So if you remember your Punnett squares from biology, that means that since she has waddles, their babies should have waddles. If she has two waddle traits, she should have, all her babies will have waddles. If she has a dominant inner recessive gene, then like 75% of them will. So they're just like pieces of flesh or skin. They don't hurt her, they're just ornamental. But Cooney Coonies are supposed to have them. And sometimes they'll only have one, but they're supposed to have two. And um, they can get them torn off, you know, and damaged occasionally. But for the most part, if you're buying a Cooney Cooney, you really want waddles. That is breed standard. But we still love pork trap even though he doesn't have any. I still think you're handsome. Lots of different breeds of pig have had them historically. It's either been, it's been bred out. But for coonies, everybody's trying to breed waddles back in because it's breed standard. So she's fine, no big deal. They're just flashy, make her look cute. Duke has to go to, his vet, to the vet today for his yearly appointment. Got to change out his collar. He's on that electric fence. He loves to ride in the car. You ready, buddy? Ready to go? Yep. Okay, sit down. Thankfully, our vet is only like five minutes down the road, so we're not going to film and drive. So it's not safe. We'll see you guys when we get there. Today, we're not happy. We're very slippery, but they gave us a calm toy. He's 130 pounds. It's a lot. It's probably the biggest he's been, but he's almost six, so. Okay, so now we're home. We don't want to vacate the vehicle. Are you enjoying the air conditioning? Has to get out of the car. Look at all the slobber. All right, come on, you gotta get out. Poor guy, he's 
just really stressed him out. Hello pigs. Wow, that's a fast pig run. Oh, mom doesn't need to be in the fence, does she? You're gonna get me nasty. Hi, you're doing okay? I didn't bring anything to eat. I'm just checking on you. Tony, I just started the video today. So it's usually pork chop. It's always pork chop. That's Tony pig today. Mm -hmm. Your nose is all muddy. Somebody asked me the other day in the comments if we would ever do like a Q&A, and I think it's a really good idea if you guys are interested. Would you be interested in us doing a Q&A? I know a lot of channels do like a live Q&A. I don't know if we would do that, or if we would just do like our normal vlog with like some Q&A sprinkled in. If you like that idea, let me know. Would you rather us do it live? Would you rather just do... The thing about live is, you guys are from all over the world and it would be really hard to do it when everybody could be on. But if that's the way that everybody wants to do it, we could try to work that out. So live or just in a normal vlog and what are some questions that you would have? So let me know in the comments what you think. Are you feeling better now? Feeling better. Okay. Fireworks have started. We do not like the fireworks, Mom. Ready for dinner? Yeah? Is everybody in here? CC? No, oh, there she is. These guys don't like fireworks any better. We'll show you guys in the next video how we do 4th of July around here. We never get to go anywhere. Well, we did one year, and my farm sitter came and sat with the animals because we love Sammy. But kind of a have to be here day for our crew. All right, my littles, let's go. Go Got a bunch of jealous big goats. Got a bunch of jealous big goats of the babies, don't we? Nine, nine, CC. Nine, nine, nannies. Nine, nine, Patty. Nine, nine, Tinker. Nine, nine, Zellies. Nine, nine, Best Friend. Nine, nine, Twizzy. My night, Daisy. They're so good. Oh, my last two. The night night poppers. Night nights. Night night bun buns. Mom doesn't forget about you, no. Night night bunners. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so that you know every time you put we put out a new video. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for liking and commenting and subscribing and we will see you in the next video.